Okay, it's time for story time. Today, I thought we'd read another Paddington story. So we're going to read this one here, which is Paddington at the Zoo. One day, Jonathan and Judy decided to take Paddington on an outing to the zoo. Before they set off, Paddington made a large pile of marmalade sandwiches, six in all. But when they reached the zoo, the gatekeeper wouldn't let them in. I'm sorry, he said. Pets aren't allowed. Pets, repeated Jonathan. Paddington isn't my pet, said Judy. He's one of the family. And Paddington gave the man such a hard stare, he let them in without another word. Come on, said Jonathan. Why don't I take your picture with the parrot? Give a great big smile, called Judy. Say cheese. Cheese, said Paddington. Squawk, said a parrot as it took a big bite out of Paddington's sandwich. Thank you very much. Squawk, squawk. Next they went to see the Siberian wild dog. Nice doggy, said Paddington. But the Siberian wild dog went, Awoo! and made Paddington jump so much the rest of the sandwich flew out of his hand and landed in the cage. Can you see the sandwich? Let me take a picture of you with the donkey, said Jonathan. Hee-haw, prayed the donkey when it saw Paddington's sandwiches. That's too gone, said Judy. Paddington's smile was getting less cheesy all the time. The elephant didn't wait to be asked either. It simply made a loud trumpeting, trumpeting noise. Woo! And reached down with its trunk. Paddington watched as his third sandwich disappeared. He began to feel that going to the zoo was not such a good idea after all. But there was worse to follow. When the lion saw them coming, he gave a great big roar. Roar! It was such a loud roar, Paddington dropped his fourth sandwich onto the ground before they could say help. It was surrounded by the pigeons. The only ones that didn't say anything were the penguins. They just stood there looking sad, as if they were all dressed up for a party and had nowhere to go. Paddington felt so sorry for them, he gave them a sa he gave them sandwich number five. Penguins eat fish, said a man sternly. He pointed to a notice. It is strictly, forget it's strictly forbidden to give them marmalade sandwiches. And while Paddington was looking at the notice, the man helped himself to the last of the sandwiches. The cheek of it, said Jonathan. You, you need eyes in the back of your head, agreed Judy. I need my eleven it, said Paddington. Zoos make you hungry. Besides, nothing more can happen to me now. But it did. Just to round things off, the mountain goat ate his sandwich bag. That does it, said Jonathan. If you ask me, it's time we went home. A few days later, Jonathan showed Paddington the photographs he'd taken at the zoo. You can have one for your scrapbook, he said. Which do you like best, asked Judy. The one with the parrot, said Paddington promptly. At least he said thank you when he ate my marmalade sandwich. That's more than any of the others did. And there's Paddington adding his picture into the scrapbook. Looked like a fun day out, didn't it? Even if he did lose all of his sandwiches. Hope you enjoyed that and have a lovely weekend. Bye!